Hi dreamers, welcome to today's Sensory Play Steam Work. Mmm, very good. This will be our coral hey. reef. I'm Dominique from National Children's Museum. Vampire worm, goblin shark, and fang tooth. Oh my, these sound like scary movie creatures. But no, they are just a few of the creatures that live in the ocean. In fact, there are at least one million species that call the ocean home. Factors such as temperature, how deep the ocean is, and the distance from the shore determine the types of plants and animals that live in a specific area in the ocean. These areas or regions are called habitats. Coral reefs are in one type of ocean habitat. Coral reefs look like rocky structures but are actually living organisms. Corals are tiny animals that glue themselves to rocks on the ocean floor, called reefs. Coral reefs are important homes for fish and other ocean life. In another ocean habitat, you will find kelp forests. Like the forests on land, kelp, such as seaweed, provides shade, food, and housing for many animals. Today, we are going to make our own edible ocean habitat. For this yummy dessert, you will need the following materials. A large clear bowl, two boxes of blue gelatin mix, red licorice twists, gummy fish, scissors, mint leaves, hot water and cold water, a liquid measuring cup, and a spoon. First, we are gonna make our jello. You can follow the directions on the box. These directions say, to add one cup of boiling water and one cup of cold water. Since I'm using two packets of gelatin mix, I'm gonna do two cups of hot water and two cups of cold water. Okay, first I'm gonna empty the jello mix into the clear bowl. Mmm, smells good, very good. Then I'm gonna measure out two cups of boiling water. I already boiled some water on the stove, for this part, you probably will need your grown-up with you to make sure you don't get burned. Measure out the two cups of the boiling water, and you're gonna dissolve the mix. Pour it in, and then you'll stir it until all the mix is dissolved into the water, so no more powder left. After all the mix has dissolved in the hot water, then I will add my two cups of cold water. And then you gently mix that. Our blue ocean is looking very nice. Next, we have to wait for two hours for our gelatin mix to harden. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator for two hours. After two hours, your jello should be firm, not completely solid. It should still be able to move. We want to be able to put in our ocean, ocean creatures. Now is the fun part. We can start adding in our creatures. So the red licorice represents our coral. So you can cut some little pieces and gently push them into the jello. This will be our coral reef. Doesn't matter how short you make them, just as long as they don't come out of the top of your jello mold. All right, we added in some coral reefs. Now we can use our Swedish fish and add some fish friends to float around. All right, and then we can take some of our mint leaves. And the mint, it's gonna be, what do you think it's gonna be? Seaweed. So we put in some mint leaves, add in some more seaweed. All right, my ocean habitat is looking quite full. I'll add in a few more things. You can add in as much or a little as you want. It's your habitat. Okay, so after you do that, you put it in the refrigerator for another two to three hours. This time it's gonna get really firm. 
After two hours, you can take out your ocean habitat and see what it looks like. An underwater home for our seaweed, our coral, and our fish. Fun to look at and probably more fun to eat. I hope you enjoyed making and eating that yummy ocean habitat. Tune in for another Steamwork tomorrow. Thanks friends, bye.